how to build self-confidence and self-esteem. Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. I am an online psychologist and today I would like to talk to you about self-esteem and self-confidence. I would like to offer you five methods or five ways that you can, what you can do to build your self-confidence and self-esteem. Number one is find that you do something good and make it better. Uh, for example, let's say you are a good cook or maybe you play guitar or maybe you do yoga. So find something where you are good and try to improve it. And when you're going to improve, you will see that you are even better. So this way you're going to rebuild your confidence. You're going to bring it up. You're already good at something. And when you're trying to do it better, your confidence will go even up. Your self-esteem will go up. It is very important for us to think and to analyze and to acknowledge areas or skills where we are good at. When you do something good, it brings the feelings that I am good. If I am good at yoga, then I am good. You know, this is my thing. This is my skill. If I know how to play piano and if I'm going to practice, I will be even better. So I am good at piano. So when this happens, I will feel even better about myself. I will feel that I am good. This, you know, when you're doing something good, brings the feeling that I am good. So your self-confidence and self-esteem will go up. So find something that you already know how to do it. You're good at this and try to make it better. Improve yourself at something that you already good at. Number two is start helping others. And I'm talking about volunteering job. Try to find maybe local shelters, local libraries, local schools, local um, elderly houses where you can do something. And yes, uh, you are doing good for other people. But in reality, when you are doing something good for others, you feel good about yourself. So by doing positive things for other people, you're bringing positive uh, opinion about yourself you're building your self-confidence even if people will not say thank you inside you know that you did something good inside you know that you help this dog inside you know that you help this grandmother uh, uh, inside you will know that you help this child and you will feel good about yourself so you're gonna build your self-confidence little by little number three is to notice your thoughts uh, when we devalue ourselves, we usually think badly about ourselves. So we think like, why, why did I do that? Oh my God, like, how could I say that? Why did I even go there? So I encourage you to notice those negative feelings. And when you do, try to release them. And I would, today I would like to offer you one option how you can release your feelings is just to take a blank piece of paper, uh, you know, coloring markers or any paint, painting tools and just draw your feelings. You can even use a pen if you don't have any other tools. Just draw your feelings. I don't want you to keep your feelings inside because if you think bad about yourself, if you think negative about yourself and then you notice those feelings, you're like, okay, 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 I'm not going to think bad about myself. And in as a result, you're compressing your feelings. You already thought bad about yourself. You already thought, you know, negative thoughts already came to your mind. So by saying I'm not going to do it, you're kind of blocking and suppressing those feelings inside and th this is not uh, our goal this is not where i want you to go i want you to release those feelings if those feelings came i want you to release them so take a piece of paper and draw draw your feelings at the end you can you know rip your drawings into small pieces and even burn them and let's create this is going to be like a small ritual when you release your feelings you burn them and you relieve yourself you you free yourself from those feelings. Uh, step number four is journaling. Create your journal and write your feelings in your daily journal. Again, uh, the idea is to release your feelings. Do not keep them inside, but release your feelings. And when you're going to journal, 
and if especially if you're gonna write uh, you know with your hands not by typing but by writing you're gonna slow your thoughts down and you might get lots of great insights uh, and you're gonna develop your self-awareness and when you're aware of what's happening you know inside of you when you are aware of your true emotions and feelings you can do something about them and option number five of course go for a professional help and i encourage you to try my private sessions i encourage you to find a mentor a psychologist and I also offer group sessions, online therapy. I offer art therapy where we draw things and we decode our things, we decode our feelings, our drawings. I have a support group for uh, parents and grandparents and I have online courses. All the links will be below this video. Uh, if you would like to try things for free, if you sign up to my newsletters then if i will send you seven free self-development webinars seven free guided meditations and seven free uh, self-improvement exercises you can try it to yourself at your home and see if it works for you all the links below the video and of course i am looking forward to hearing your questions if you agree with me please let me know which out of five tips you think would work for you which one are you willing to try uh let me know in the comments and if you know other methods uh that worked for you in the past or maybe you're doing something right now and it's working please share it in the comments i'm looking forward to your comments and i'm sure other people will read them and appreciate them as well uh, please share this video with people that will benefit from it and uh, give me likes if you find this video helpful please click likes subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments because when you do that first of all i feel very good and it motivates me to create more videos for you and second it really helps my youtube channel subscribe uh, when you put likes when you write questions when you share it really really boosts my channel and of course then i have more people more questions and i um motivated to create more videos my name is elena semenik and again this is my channel psychology of happiness i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video bye